Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Angela. So today's video is a mini haul and it's a haul of some Chanel products. Um, I bought three lip products, so it's a mini Chanel lip product haul. So I thought I'd, sh I'd show it to you guys and share it with you guys. So I went to Isetan and that's where I bought my Chanel. Um, so if you guys don't know, Isetan is just a, um, it's a department store from Japan that is really famous here in Singapore. And that's where you can get a lot of branded goods, uh, at least for cosmetics. So these are the three things I bought. So I got two new products. Um, these two are the new newest products. Um, they are the Rouge Allure inks, and um, I have the shades 150 and 154. That's Luxuriant and Experiment. So these are the. Le Rouge Liquid Matte These are matte liquid lip colours and this is what it looks like and this is... Can it focus? Yes. So this shade looks like a red doesn't it? But let me swatch it for you guys It's actually a sort of pink on me On me it's kind of pink So I'll show it on my lip as well down pretty um, matte. Now it it comes off quite red on camera but it actually is very pink in real life for me. That's the sort of colour it is. But on people who are more fair skinned, you know just a different colour, it looks like a red. But on me it looks like a pink which is why I bought it because I wanted something that is very everyday. I want to use it everyday and so I bought this one. So that's one of the colours. This is Le Rouge Liquid Matte Rouge Allure Ink. Once again, in the shade Luxuriant. The shade Experiment. But this one is a different colour, it's much darker and it's more for four. And this is the colour in the bottle. Isn't the bottle like so pretty on its own? Oh, it's, it's, this is the size of it. Like my finger, less than my index finger. But it's so luxurious. Like when I buy something like this, I know I'm buying luxury. This is a glass bottle. It's a sort of frosted glass and then you can see the colour inside. And the top looks like that. It's so pretty. And the brush, let me just show you the brush, okay. So, slightly pointed, but it has the flat side as well. So it has the pointy bit and the flat bit as well. So you can use the flat bit, like that. And you can use the pointy bit to go like, to draw your outline of your lip, so. I realise that all the colours uh, look more or less the same on me. This one's a bit darker and once again, yeah, the shades seem to be quite reddish which is really weird because I was pretty sure when I bought them that, yeah, you can see the colour now. This one on the right of uh, whatever you see is actually more pink and this one is a very dark browny kind of shade that on fairer skin would look different. I mean, I'm not that dark, but I am like more brown skin. So this looks like it doesn't look so bad as a uh, as a dark shade. It looks like a very dark red, but on someone fairer, you'd be able to see the difference. It's more brown. And this one would be more like a red on fair skin, but it's more pink on me. So your skin tone does matter, and I love buying Chanel lipsticks because they are so luxurious. As I told you, the design is really sleek, and it's really nice. I can just hold it in my hand like that. It feels really substantial, and I know I've paid a lot of money for it, but I think it's worth it. <laughs> I love Chanel. I love Chanel makeup, Chanel products as well. Okay, and finally, so... These two, I, these are the newest launches from Chanel. It's the Rouge Allure Ink. And 
finally the other one that I'm showing you this is if I'm not wrong this is actually a new color but it's uh, the finish is a it's an older finish not that old but it's a more slightly more recent than these are more recent than these so these are not old either the luminous matte lip color or rouge alone velvet this one came out quite some time ago and I I have some other lipsticks like these yeah so this is what it looks like so to get it out you have to press this part here and it pops out it's a spring mechanism and it's all gold this is what the bullet looks like and then you can the shade I recently bought is Rouge Chanel it's the one that Priyanka Chopra wore for the uh, 2016 Emmys or Emmy Awards and I bought it basically because she wore it so I, I was like I can buy this and I'm gonna look like her you know but um, it was such a good uh, red especially for brown skin it's very hard to get like good reds I mean reds look I mean they look very similar um, but some reds don't look as great on brown skin but this one looked really good on her so I thought you know I have to buy it so I will, sh I will wear this and show it to you guys it's a very bright and vibrant red okay before I go let's zoom into this I've talked for a while. It, as you can see, this one, um, which is the um, Rouge Allure ink, has started to dry up a bit. Now, throughout the day, this will actually dry. Um, I've worn it before, so I can tell you it does actually dry. Um, you get the feeling that it's a little bit dry, but it's not so bad because I think it, this has uh, vitamin E in it. And uh, the salesperson told me there's also like olive oil or something which, it, which makes it a bit moisturizing. But um, I will write in the comments if it is true or not. I'll research a bit and then let you guys know. Um, but this is really comfortable to wear. Is it transfer proof? I don't think it has set enough for me to show you yet. It, it did come off. So they market this product in two ways that you can wear it. So one way is as a liquid lipstick which it's a good one once it dries out but the other way is to treat it like a stain which is something that I like to do. I like to treat my liquid lipsticks as stains most of the time. Especially these kinds which are more stains than liquid lipsticks so you can sort of just dab more, dab less and things like that. And this way, it stays much longer though. Although the colour payoff is not as much but some people like that kind of a look. It's the Korean trend type of lip. Okay, I'm going to take this off because I want to show you Rouge Chanel on my lips. Okay, finally, Rouge Chanel. I don't like put on more layers this is what it looks like which is still nice I think personally to me I think this is really still nice it's a very bright red it's very youthful to me I think it's like more energetic than um, other reds which can be really like can make you look older so this is good for like youthful looks but if I want more pigment more layers And to be honest, I think for this, I would need a lip liner or I would have to blot out my lip with concealer first. Concealer or foundation first. But otherwise, you know, this colour would look really good. Uh, if you watch my Priyanka Chopra uh, tutorial, I will link it. It is actually very nice. I think it looks really good. If you go for full face of makeup, I think it would look really nice. Okay, let me just give you guys a swatch. I am taking far too long for this video. So this one is the red, this one is the pink, and this is the dark maroon. It was supposed to be like a blood red kind of shade. And yeah. So these are the three colours I bought. And let me just give you a quick review on them. So the Rouge Allure ink, I have to say, is really nice if you're someone who likes stains. This is pretty much like a stain. Um, it's also a liquid lipstick if you put on more layers and you let it dry. Um, and is it transfer proof? I think just to a little bit of an extent. Um, when you eat, it will come off um, as usual. You know, a lot of products are like that. They do come off when it's 
uh, when you eat oily food and things like that but most of the time uh, if you've let it dry and let it set it should stay on if you want it to really stay on and not come off then I would suggest you treat this like a stain and put it on and just sort of blend it into your lip and it will stay that way that that one really um, works because this works good as a stain uh, moisturizing for the most part uh, if you've worn it for like a whole day then at the end of the day it will feel a little dry but for the most part you don't feel that dryness um, and uh, it's quite comfortable on the lips well in my opinion at least uh, so I really like this the scent smells like Chanel's normal scents they all smell like Chanel scent very signature Chanel scent and um, yeah I can feel that there's those um, but the vitamin E oil and things like that it, I kind of feel that it's in there so it, it feels moisturizing for the most part uh, there is a range of colors this one does not come in nude though I wanted to buy it nude but they didn't have any nude shades for this they didn't have any bright bold red shades which is why I bought the Chanel which is a bright red but I always buy bright reds from Chanel I have no idea why I think this was the darkest color there were like corally shades and lighter pink shades as well. I got this one's the middle shade of pink. This one's closer to red. This is what they would market as a red. But on brown skin, it doesn't look red. This one looks pink on me. Okay, so as you can see, it's really moisturizing and it still hasn't set yet. So you have to go in layers and just um, sort of don't put too much on at first then for this one which is the uh, Rouge Allo Velvet these are the matte versions of the lipsticks these are really comfortable to wear very moisturizing it's still moisturizing you guys can see that yeah you can see that it's a little wet I think it's got to do with um, the products that they put into Sorry that I keep adjusting, but it's the products that they put into the lip um, stick. It's very comfortable to wear. The packaging is very really substantial, substantial as well for both. So I like that about um, these ones. It's really nice to play with these. Yeah. So shade wise, these are the three shades that I put. These are like the, my favorite shade at the moment. So I've got all three of them, and it's great for autumn. So. Yeah, price-wise, I think each product is $49. $49 in Singapore. But, yeah, in total, it cost $147. Crazy, right? But, you know, Chanel is just... I love Chanel. Like, I'm willing to spend for Chanel. It's luxury at its best, and I want to feel luxurious all the time, and I especially love their lip products. Sorry, these are like my, these are the things that I splurge on. These are things that I love. <laughs> so uh, I hope you like this video, guys. And um, if you would like to see my Chanel lipstick collection, let me know. Uh, anyway, I was thinking of doing it. So yeah, when when I when I decided to do it, I will film and I will let you guys see and probably give you uh, a better review on all the. So I hope you like this video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye!